Jeeve. Hello everybody, my name is Katrina O'Reilly and I work in Cavan County Council Arts Office with my colleagues Rhonda Tidy and Nerissa Cosgrove. I hope you're enjoying these creative videos with Tom, Laurie and Paddy Meskel. In this episode, Tom and Paddy are recycling a plastic milk carton to make a lantern. Light is a constant symbol of hope and humanity as we start to reconnect and recover from COVID-19. I hope you can make a lantern with Paddy and Tom and have some fun in the process. Stay safe and take it easy. Tog Kuboge. Hello everybody. <laughs> I'm Tom. Paddy. Um, it's great to be here again for Cavan County Council Arts Office in the Cavan Lights of Hope. So we're doing something different today. We, you can see here, a Minecraft yeah. villager. Yeah. Wow. This is um, a milk carton. And when I've been looking at these, I always think this looks like a nose and these are eyes. So we've made uh, a lantern. It's really simple. Um, actually, very little for this lantern. You could add color. You could use markers on top of the, um, carton later or wax crayon that would work as well but I kind of like white yeah <laughs> okay so Paddy I'm going to give you a little one and I'm going to have the big one so I'll just go through the materials I have um, a milk carton that I've washed on the inside um, I have a scissors I've got actually two scissors I have a pointy scissors and I have a wide scissors I have a sharpie that will write on this, it's just to mark things out. I have a ruler which I may or may not need. I've got some masking tape and I've got some um, sellotape. So the first thing we're going to do is, we're going to get a bit, you can use masking tape Paddy, and you're going to just run it around the side. See the way there's a kind of line here? We're going to run the masking tape around there. And this is for just getting the size. It's infinite. Infinite. No. So I'm putting a piece of tape that will go around. There's, a, there's kind of an existing line on this carton. I know all cartons are a little bit different. The next job we're going to do is we're going to cut it. Paddy, what we're going to do is you're going to get the... Be careful of your hands. You might need an adult to help you with this. Paddy is 13, so he's allowed to use the scissors. But I'm, I'm going to punch the scissors in and then just cut your way around using the tape as a guide. straighten it out just in case it's a bit dinked and now I can take my sellotape off Ooh. good job buddy so you can take your sellotape off now so what I did with this other one just going to show you is that I got the scissors I kept it a bit longer and then I cut all the way round like tons and tons of little cuts to make the hair. So because we're trying to do this quickly I'm going to do something simpler. So what we'll do Paddy, um, we'll use the marker, no I couldn't yes, and I'm going to draw some just some zigzags going around. Do, will zigzags do you or do you want to do something different? Zigzags will do me. Good. Bye, yeah. And it does, it does take a bit of time when you're doing any kind of hair. But it's nice to do something, it just kind of lightens it up a bit. Remember, always keep your hands away from the blade because you don't want to cut yourself. You might go further than you want when you're cutting and then you could cut your fingers off. Now, these are great fun um, when the lights are inside them um, 
and you, they're more for indoor than outdoor these but they're very but they're very waterproof because they're made of this plastic and like this is kind of a bit like a recycling project the fun bit now is making it fit inside the the other piece we're going to get to that in a minute now okay so you can see i have my kind of spiky hairstyle Now, while Paddy's getting that ready, I'm going to get the tape again and put it on the line here so we can get a straight line. I mean, you could have it this high, I, I think that would be a bit big. So I, I want to make it a bit shorter so it kind of has a lower center of gravity and it's not too, I'm afraid if I did it very tall like that it would be just a little bit wobbly because it would be fairly top heavy. Okay. This is actually a very nice plastic to work with, it cuts really well and it doesn't leave sharp edges or anything. So when I first started doing these, I thought they looked like Easter Island heads. So if anyone wanted to look them up on the internet, you know, the, the Easter Island heads have these very strong noses and then these eye kind of brows. Oh, brilliant, <laughs> Paddy, that's great. Now we have a Sharpie as well as part of our kit. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to place this on top of this end I've prepared. Do you want to cut that just a little bit short? Well, it's not so bad on that one. Yeah. You can just go with that. Wow. So I, I'm putting the, like, the opening here. Go around. This is the trickiest part of the whole thing, to be honest. So we're doing that. And then I'm going to kind of divide this into, it's like cutting up pizza. Now you can see what I've done there. Okay, you did help me, Paddy. And the reason I have this little cup, and the reason I have this is as a, a hand protector for the next tricky bit. So we're going to cut these lines, but we're not going to cut the circle. We're just going to cut these lines. You'll see, be like slices of a pizza. So I'm putting this in to protect my fingers, and then I'm kind of. Punching in the scissors, I have a hole there, I'm going right across and this way. How are you doing Paddy? Uh, I am finished drawing that. Now remember, put your hand inside the cup, now put your cup inside, yep. Now, I, you know what, I'm going to help you. Put your hands up here, and I'm going to hold this, now you do it. Now you really have to do these, if you don't do enough of these cuts, it won't kind of fold nicely for you. Oh, now, so we're going to fold them down into it. So we're going to do a few little tricks. So you can see, I fold these down. I'm going to count how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of those little spikes. And then I'm going to lift up about three or four of them. And this is going to help catch our, um, our insert. Okay? So this here is going to now fit inside here. I hope, if I measure correctly, and it should fit in very snugly. Is definitely a bit tricky. So we've got some of those spikes coming on the outside. Oh, you can use your handle. That's what they were built for. <laughs> it kind of screws in. Okay, that's pretty good. There you go, guys. Get in there. Ready for sure. Okay, there you go guys. Where's Patty's one? 
Yes, so, we're going to come back in the night time now and put lights inside these and you can see what they look like in the dark. Through the magic of editing. We'll see you in one second. Okay guys, we're back. Paddy's in his pyjamas, well nearly. Oh. It's nearly bedtime. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show you a, a quick trick for um, when you're putting the heads in. Sometimes they might be uh, a bit wobbly. So a trick you can do, we did with Paddy's, is to put a bit of tape around the end. And then to get the roll of tape and you turn it so that the sticky side is facing outward. And that gives a little bit of grip. So that should go in there really nicely. Well, no, it's, it's great, it's really solid now. Okay, so these look great. We've got three heads ready to go. Lights off. Oh, isn't that Ooh. nice? Don't they look pretty yes. when the lights are off? So these lights are, these are all LED lights. So this is two ways of lighting them. These lights send the light up into the little sculptures. And then these ones are like fairy lights that we've put inside. So it's two different ways of lighting them. You got a big brain. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see how the different effects, how the hair works and how the spiky hair works. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for joining us with that. And we're going to do uh, another one next week. So we'll speak to you then. Yay! See you, everybody. Yay.